We have new eyewitness accounts of the deadly ambush of American troops in Niger. Four American soldiers were killed last month by ISIS-linked militants near the village of Tongo Tongo. CBS News traveled to the remote side of the ambush and spoke to the people who actually saw the attack. Deborah Pat is in, Niger in Niger's capital, that's Niamey, with what she learned there. Deborah, good morning. Good morning. We now know that U.S. and Nigerian troops were on a reconnaissance mission, but at some point their orders changed. That meant they had to stay overnight in dangerous territory that could have alerted extremists to where they were. After spending the night in treacherous terrain, the U.S. and Nigerian troops stopped for supplies at the village of Tongo Tongo on their way out of the area. It was here that they were lured into a trap. Three or four armed men appeared on motorcycles and started shooting. Initially, a few ISIS fighters drew the troops to this spot. They burnt down that school and then pushed them in this direction to where the ambush actually took place over there. Village elder Adamu Bububaka witnessed the ambush and said he saw at least 60 attackers armed with machine guns and rocket-propelled grenades. The fighting lasted over two hours. When it was over, he told us he saw the bodies of three American soldiers. Two of the bodies were in the vehicle and another on the ground, he said. They'd been stripped of their uniforms. But it would be two days before children from the village discovered the fourth body of Sergeant Le David Johnson about half a mile away. The village chief alerted the military that they'd found Johnson. Shortly after this, he was arrested by them on suspicion of colluding with the terrorists. His distraught mother insists this is not true. It's still not clear how Johnson got separated from the rest. This Nigerian soldier would only talk if we concealed his identity. Johnson had been stripped of his uniform, he told us. His hands were tied and they'd shot him in the head. The Pentagon would not comment. We're getting more pieces of the puzzle, but it's still unclear why the U.S. mission was extended overnight in an area where more than a dozen extremist groups are operating. Vlad? Deborah Pata in Niger, thank you.